everyone, bit of us back again for another Binding of Isaac Rebirth stream. And I actually have my mic on this time. I can tell because I can see the green line going up and down in OBS, so that's good. Well, not up and down, but yeah, to the right. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave you with Isaac's story as I do. While I go ahead and... Um, just checking the bitrate real quick. It looks like it's kind of flickering. Interesting. Hopefully that will fix itself. And, um, I will do my post-live stuff, and I'll get the chat loaded up. So give me just a moment, and I'll start up Isaac. 146 hours already, holy crap. <clears throat> Isaac and his mother lived alone in a small house on a hill. Isaac kept to himself, drawing pictures and playing with his toys as his mom watched Christian broadcasts on the television. Life was simple, and they were both happy. That was until the day Isaac's mom heard a voice from above. Your son has become corrupted by sin. He needs to be saved. I will do my best to save him, my lord, Isaac's mother replied, rushing into Isaac's room, removing all that was evil from his life. Again, the voice called to her. Isaac's soul is still corrupt. He needs to be cut off from all that is evil in this world and confess his sins. I will follow your instructions, Lord. I have faith in thee, Isaac's mother replied as she locked Isaac in his room away from the evils of the world. One last time, Isaac's mom heard the voice of God calling to her. You've done as I've asked, but I still question your devotion to me to prove your faith. I will ask one more thing of you. Yes, Lord, anything, Isaac's mother begged. To prove your love and devotion, I require a sacrifice. Your son, Isaac, will be this sacrifice. Go into his room and end his life as an offering to me to prove you love me above all else. Yes, Lord, she replied, grabbing a butcher's knife from the kitchen. Isaac, watching through a crack in his door, trembled in fear. Scrambling around his room to find a hiding place, he noticed a trap door to the basement hidden under his rug. Without hesitation, he flung open the hatch, just as his mother burst through his door and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. <laughs> All right. So, let's go ahead and get some good runs. At least I'm sure hoping so. Hold on. Didn't have my controller plugged in. There we go. Alright, let's see. I don't know if I really feel like Judas. I don't feel like adding to the losing streak. Why don't I try and redeem myself for that last Samson run by actually going to the dark room this time? It's a novel idea. Oh, Curse of Darkness, fun. Seed for this run is going to be NZBHZX4P. Let's do this. Whoops. Okay, item room right off the bat, I like it. Remember, we don't have to do boss rush. It is a luxury if I can do it. Don't have to, though. 48 hour energy? Interesting. I'm gonna be awfully mad if there's a good active item in here. Oh, well, it's not a very good active item. I'm not too angry. 
It's an active item, but not a very good one. Wow. And it did no damage. Completely missed. Then again, I think I can blame Curse of Darkness for that one. Can't really see the enemies very well. The whole idea of Curse of Darkness, I suppose. I have taken a hit, so that means I'm a little bit stronger. Come on. Dude, stop. Stop dodging, seriously. I think the enemies in here, basically the spiders are like, well, you're such a good dodge, sometimes. What's wrong with us being a good dodge? Except for when they come straight at you like that. Then they're not so good at dodging. Oh, come on. It's a good thing I'm not going for boss rush. This room takes like 20 years to complete. Well, that's about half done. Actually, surprised I haven't taken damage yet. I knew you were up there somewhere. Oh, careful. There we go. No, 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 no. Be careful now. One more. To take damage on this last enemy would really suck. It could happen, though. Alright, good. No bombs. It's really sad. <clears throat> and I don't think it's worth it going back for the battery. There's the boss room. Let's still look around to see if maybe we can get a bomb. Those chests are awfully tantalizing. Oh, damn it. I hate these bomb spiders. There we go. Oh, a key's nice too. Not exactly what I was looking for. Shoop de Whoop is incredibly weak. Dang it. Just no bombs whatsoever. Every, every bomb is behind rocks. Great. So we'll take the battery for a worthless Shoop de Whoop. And go ahead and fight the widow, which actually is kind of a lot of work with the shoot. Did decent damage, about a quarter of the HP. It's pretty much what I was expecting from shoot the woop. Yeah, I just got done killing your other one. Don't play another one. And another one. Jeez. This is gonna take some time. Wow, you sure coughed up a bunch of spiders there, buddy. There we go. Okay. Much better. HP and luck up. That is pretty good. Still would love to get some bombs, man. The key is nice though, so that's a guaranteed item room. Oh god. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. It's a really good thing I'm not going for boss rush. This is a terrible room to fight Super Envy in. Look at how many of my shots just hit the rocks. Oh my god. Yeah, so, uh, buckle in. This is probably gonna take 30 minutes. Probably. Surprisingly, it actually gets kind of faster when there's more pieces. Because there's more things to actually hit, and you can't just hide behind the rocks like a dick. <laughs> okay, now I gotta be a little more careful. This is not the final form either, or the final split. I do believe there's one more. A nightmare of a room to fight Super Envy in. I could conceivably actually lose here too. Because I can just take so much damage. 
mean, there's way too many pieces of Super Envy for a small room like this, seriously. With a bomb, this would be so much easier because I could open it up, but I can't. I'll bet the Super Envy's gonna drop a troll bomb, though. Oh, are you kidding me? It's okay, though. The more damage I take, I'm kind of okay with it, because then you will die much quicker, Super Envy. So I'm okay with the damage. Oddly enough. Come on. Are you kidding me? How do they have to be so fast? At least in their smallest form, they're not as fast as the uh, third form, I think. Yeah, like I said, this is going to take like seven hours, pretty much. Almost done. But of course, almost done means still not done. This would be a 0% chance boss rush run. Pretty sure in any place where Super Envy shows up, it is a 0% chance for boss rush. My god, this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Seriously, that's three hits against Super Envy. I mean, I appreciate it, because it gives me more damage, but I really don't want to take that much damage. Finally! And see, all that was for Troll Bomb. That took, yeah, seven minutes. Because I know the last level didn't take that long. Well, part of the last floor did take forever, I remember that. That stupid spider room, god. Thing was ridiculous. Already taken red heart damage, so I'm okay with going in here. Guppy's tail for free. Um, don't mind if I do. More like don't mind if I already did. Jeez. Fantastic. Come on, just die. Thank you. Ooh, skinny odd mushroom. Very interesting. I love the fire rate. That could spell us starting to get this run going a little faster now. Can't open that, unfortunately. Might as well use Shoot the Whoop whenever I have it on, because, I mean, it's not very good, but it has a two room charge, so might as well. Might as well take advantage of that. Got a bomb, finally. I will have a shoot to whoop charge for the boss. Ooh, another bomb, interesting. Should I look for some secret rooms? I probably should. Yeah, that's why. That's the reason why. Very nice. And this might be my super secret room? Yes. Hmm. Sure. It has the potential to give me more keys. Or a hermit card. Ooh, Master of Lockpicking. Well, don't mind if I do. Guppy's Tail plus Master of Lockpicking is a dream combination. Let's use the hermit. PhD, sure. One second. What's this? Bombs are key. Well... Not super useful. Go ahead and donate one cent. <clears throat> and, well, I can't even bomb that, because my bombs are all gone. But I think it was worth it. I think it was quite worth it. PhD means good pills in the future, or, well, generally speaking, good pills. And by good, I mean not bad, at least. Yeah, I think that was a pretty good shoot to whoop. Is this going to be the run where I'm going to win with just shoot to whoop? That'd be interesting. I just have to remember that I'm taking the negative, not the Polaroid this time. Samson just needs a dark room, that's all he needs. 
Thank God he doesn't need boss rush because that's not happening this time. Although, technically I could be wrong. Let's not even pretend that happened. Very funny game. Oh man. I miss my damage. I miss it. It was so good. Last floor. It got me so confident that I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm Samson. Which means my damage is going to be terrible now. There we go. Okay. What I was hoping you shoot the whoop for. Get rid of one of these skull turrets. They can be a little bit annoying. Oh, just like that. But I'm okay with the damage. Oh. Didn't really want to take that damage, but whatever. Remember, every hit makes us stronger. Hey, Sloth. How about you launch one over here, buddy? Or la launch it right over here. No, over here. Right here, buddy. Right here. Come on, I'm right here. Not your chub. Oh, you bastard. We're dead. Maybe he'll drop. Yeah, that's what I was kind of hoping for. Bob's Rotten Head is probably better than Shoot to Whoop anyway. Oh my god, that wasn't even my secret room. Grr. Alright. The tears are coming fast and furious. Very nice. I'm liking it. Okay. Battery is interesting. I need to find my secret room here. Or item room, there we go. Book of Sin. Even better than Bob's Rotten Head, good. Because at least it gives consumables. Now that battery is super useful. But do I use the... yeah, sure. Um, I'm not gonna take Liberty Cap. Usually I would take Liberty Cap, but with Guppy's tail, I mean, I I gotta stick with Master of Lockpicking. Or the paper clip. Oh, are you kidding me? That's a tease game, that's a tease. Whoa, careful. Oh, Guppy's head. Even better than the Book of Sin. I'll take it. <clears throat> Just keep trading active items. Works for me. I didn't like the Book of Sin that much anyway. I mean, it's okay, but... It's just okay. Whoa, careful. Wasn't supposed to take damage there. Cuban meat, and I have one bomb. Hmm. Do I feel I could find my secret room? I think I could. Maybe. Because it might. Wait, it's not here. Well, it could be here. Wait. No, it can't be because this room. Yeah, okay, so it can't be there. Which means it's got to be here in the middle. It just has to be. It's got to be right here. Loot. Process of elimination almost never fails. All right, so let's open the shop. Let's do some donating since I don't have a lot of money. Really want to get to 999. Oh, never mind. It jammed already. Bastard. Well, that's okay. Let's grab this pill. Fuck up. Sure, I'll take it. I don't really think I need bombs or key. <clears throat> Almost picked up Liberty Cap. That would have been... It wouldn't have been detrimental. I could have switched it back for a paperclip, but it's okay. Let's go down. Oddly enough, this is actually looking like kind of a decent run. Oh man. I always say that before I see my crap damage at the beginning of the floor. Able? Um, sure. 
For free, I suppose. Why not? Getting lots of passive items from golden chests, which is a little shocking. It doesn't usually work out that way. Another passive item? Holy crap. Or, well, you, well yeah, it is a passive item. Because it doesn't go in your active spot, so yeah, definitely passive. Huh. This is weird. Whoa, careful. Maybe I could be set up for a deal with the devil here. Maybe. Uh, not gonna really get my hopes up, but maybe. If possible. Whoa, careful. Careful. Bob's brain, you were supposed to hit. There you go. That's how you hit. <clears throat> Not gonna worry about that. Whoa, jeez. Bob's brain is up and away. Nice. See, as long as you tell yourself when Bob's brain is up, and to be very careful when it's up, you should be fine. You shouldn't get into too much trouble with Bob's brain. And actually, it can be a savior. Especially because I don't have much damage. I'm kind of happy to have Bob's brain. If that is a tears up, I'm going to, like, cry. Not, not for a bad reason. I'm going to cry because I'm going to be so happy if that's tears up. Oh, it's not for you, our energy. That's kind of okay, too. I'm gonna save it, though. Save it for the boss. Oh, careful. Oh, too late. Forgot to use Guppy beforehand. It's okay. It's okay, it's not the end of the world. Let's just keep going. Good. I just have to remember to uh, use Guppy after every room. Okay, be careful. Oh, Bob's brain already exploded. I was gonna use him on this guy. Such a dick. Oh, there we go. Careful, careful, careful. Careful. Oh my god, my damage is so, so little. Bob's ring, go! Let's kill, yeah, two of them, there we go. Okay. Kill these melty face guys. Yeah, this is working. There we go. Please be some damage. Please be some damage. I need damage. That is not damage. Um, I think it's an active item, and it's like pinking shooters, I believe. Yes. Except for the fact that I don't think your body... I think your body is actually controllable? Well, let me try it and see what happens. Yeah, you control your body and your head just sits there shooting tears. And your body shoots tears, too. And your head just sometimes shoots tears, so it becomes like a familiar. Interesting. I don't know if the head does damage. I don't think the scissors are actually very good. And apparently when you're not holding them, you don't get the effect. That's interesting. I'll be sticking with the guppy's head, thank you very much. Because guppy's head, like I said, it's a homing flies, you know? You don't have to babysit guppy's head. Oh, go by spring, you! Nice! this? The sun. That's a good card. Well, since we're going to be ready to go for the boss now, I'll pop 48 hour energy, get a ton of flies, take the sun, and let's go to the boss. I think that was a pretty good move, especially because this is going to be a double trouble boss. I can already see it in the length of the room. Alright, let's do it. I'm really saddened that I have no keys. Oh, it's just double trouble pin. That's not too bad. 
Although my damage is kind of horrible. Golbov's rain, you missed. Why did you miss? Don't fail. Oh my god, you missed again. Wow, even with Bob's brain missing, I'm still doing lots of damage. And there goes one pin. Could be a deal with the devil. Very conceivable to get a deal with the devil on pin. Yep. Roid rage, speed and range up. Not exactly what I was looking for. Contract from below? Heck yes, I will take this. That will sort out the consumables. Of which I've been having trouble with consumables. Definitely not going to be a boss rush, though. But that's okay. Ooh, Pandora's box. Interesting. What does this do? Ah. On this floor, it just gives a whole bunch of soul hearts. I like it. Range up. And another 48-hour energy. Hmm. Well, you know what? I think I should pop it now. Pop the flies and take the sun card with me. I didn't want to sit and waste or leave something inside that room, so I had to take more damage. Oh my god, this is so good. Um, I probably could take that eternal heart, but I'm not gonna chance it. Not gonna chance it yet. Still no keys. That's okay. We got a contract from below. So the keys will be coming. They will. You just gotta wait, be patient. So that's one thing you gotta know about Isaac. You gotta be patient. The game will usually, and I say usually because it's not always this way, but usually it will give you what you need. Oh. Okay, that's not what I was looking for, and I'm certainly not wanting that trinket. I'm already way too fast. We're really close to becoming Guppy, though. Oh, Bob's ring got me that time. That's okay. Remember, every little bit of damage gives us damage. Why was that guy moving so fast? What's up with that? Okay. Cricket's head is fantastic. Okay. Okay, so it does double the chests. But it does not double the payout, because one of them was an item chest, and one of them was not an item chest, so that's good to know. Cricket's head is great, though. This is this is where you want to be damage dealing, that's for sure. I mean, the DPS is good, the damage has finally sorted itself. This is looking pretty good. Oh, wow. I wasn't even trying for a secret room there, I was just trying to get those blue fires. Works for me. Oh, Tintarock, see that. Ooh, interesting. There's a key, finally. Finally we got a player. Satanic Bible. Hmm. You know, I think I'm just gonna pick it up, grab the black heart, and then grab Gubby's head, because I really don't need multiple black hearts. As you can tell, I'm already almost at the HP cap anyway. And I just think flies are going to be better, and they're going to do a ton of damage, too. Whoa, careful. Thank you, Bob's brain. Come on, over here. There we go. Good, good, good. I like it. Oh my god. Oh, wait, no, I'm not going to the chest. But, but it could happen on the dark room as well. Guppy. Thank you. Yeah! Oh, man, one of the chests I can't even get. Balls of Steel is so good. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll be able to get that later if we become Guppy. Whoa, careful. Looking for tinted rocks. I don't see any. I'm leaving. Oh, I have Curse of the Maze. I didn't even know it. Interesting. I still can't believe I haven't gotten, like, a single key, except for that one. Hmm. 
even know why I did that. I don't even need soul hearts. Whoa, careful. Dang it. There's my keys. Keep looking around here. And this is just Necropolis 1. We don't have to worry about fighting Mom, so whatever is left out here, I can come back for it like that eternal, alright? Oh, gluttony. Well, that died quickly. Mom's or key is probably not too good. Especially when I don't really need that many keys. Because of paperclip. Honestly, I thought with pa paperclip we would end up having way more consumables already. Okay, let me check and see if I can find the super secret room, which I think it's not going to be there. Where could it be? I think it might be over here. It could be right about here. Nope. Alright, well I tried. Let's head to the shop. Um, let's see, yeah, I'll take the battery. You know what, I am gonna take the converter. Why not? Also, buy this. Get another red heart. And then I'll get one more red heart too, so this is gonna be pretty good. We're gonna be rolling on a lot of red hearts. Oh, wait a second here. This could very well be my super secret room. Or this. Okay, never mind. Those were the only places I could conceivably think that it would be. Oh my god. Yeah, war is just getting thrashed. Look at that. That was fantastic. Okay, so let's go back and grab my eternal heart and then get the hell off this floor. Where'd it go? What the hell? It's all the way down there? Oh, there's two eternal hearts. I did not even know that. Where was that eternal heart? Oh god, it's the spike room. What? There's no eternal heart? Why does it say there's an eternal heart here? Oh. Now it doesn't say there's an eternal heart there. What the hell? Come on, Curse of the Maze. I know it said that there was an eternal heart there. Huh. Weird. Maybe it was just a glitch. That's okay. Got the eternal heart. Hmm. Sure. I don't know why I did that. I should have blew up the skull. Would have made much more sense. Whoa, careful. Okay. That works. Nice. Because I totally fudged that up. <laughs> Do I need bombs that badly? Two keys for four bombs? Probably not. I still need keys for my doors, because paperclip does not allow you to open doors for free. Only golden chests. EBF is pretty good. Oh, whoa, 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 I knew something bad was going to happen there. Quite alright, though. Worm. Probably not gonna be sticking with that. Damn it. Oh, 
Whipworm is interesting, but I would much rather have my paperclip with Guppy's tail. It's just too good. Consumables are pretty sorted now. The speed is so fast. I need it to be lowered. That's never gonna happen. Because with PhD, you can never find a speed down. Even if it would be useful. Now see, that would be kind of cool. If they had some kind of an item that you could... Um, choose to convert pills to their lesser or their worse setting. That way, just in case you needed a speed down, like I desperately need one right now, then you could get it. Okay. Might be a secret room here. Oh, actually, it might be up here, too. Nope. Jeez. Just not being able to find secret rooms at all. Alright. Oh, Bob's brain. That was such a beautiful shot. BBF tends to be not as useful in these big rooms just kind of flies around and hits nothing. But in small rooms, it can be pretty good. So maybe this is my secret room? Wow. Finally. And I was hoping for some bombs. I mean, I did use quite a lot of bombs trying to find this room. such luck. Thank you, Bob's brain. Damn it. Grr. Whoa. Okay, so now I could conceivably go to the shop. I might. Probably will, actually. Go to the cursed room. Like I said, I'm kind of okay with taking damage. Uh, sure. Maybe I won't go to the shop. Let's play a slot machine. What's this? 48 hour energy. Interesting. Not like I really need it, but it's okay. Hmm. What was this one again? Oh yeah, 48 hour energy. Um, yes, I think I'm ready to go. Do this play again. Grab that card. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait. Is there a couple hearts? One. Two full hearts. Eh, sure, I'll try it. I don't play the spike rooms too much. I might as well try it a couple times. Oh, that was lucky. And infamy, nice! Well, thank you very much, spike room. I'd say it was worth it. Like I said, I don't usually play those rooms. But I mean, I figured since I've got the HP to get back up to the cap, I'm, or my cap, it might as well go ahead and play it. 
Wait, this is... yeah, this is Depths 2, so... I shouldn't really be needing keys that much anyway, so I'll go ahead and buy some... or get some bombs here. It's fine. Might be a super secret room here. Yep. Just a bunch of red hearts. Wait, do I really want to play the spikes that many times? How many is there? Two, four, six, eight. Four, six, eight. Sure, why not? Maybe it'll give me a ton more gold chests. Or maybe a red chest. I think it can give a red chest. I don't want whipworm. If it can give me a red chest and give me guppy, it'll be worth playing it eight times. Although, it technically might actually give me nothing. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Can they only pay out once? It really seems like spike rooms can only pay out once. My speed is so out of control. It's so hard to control my character. I mean, it looks like I'm playing bad or like I'm missing stuff all the time, but like, really, it's hard to control. It's insanely hard to control. This is like the easiest blue mom I've ever faced. Taking the negative, not the Polaroid. And we are going down to Shoal. Just gonna tell myself so I don't go up to the cathedral. I'm so used to going to the chest. But like I said, with Guppy's tail, oh my god, the chest sounds so good. You know what? No. I'm gonna do that a little later, because it's probably gonna be kinda hard. I'm okay with taking that damage. The reason I'm gonna do it later is I'm gonna hope to take some damage on this floor and get my damage up so that room will be a little bit quicker and easier. If I do it now, it's just that's gonna be tedious and annoying. Kinda like this guy, god. Didn't wanna die at all. Oh, careful. Mm -hmm. Go this way. Ooh, a beggar. Interesting. Oh, careful. Wow, Bob's brain. Oh, wait, that wasn't Bob's brain. That was BBF. Nice. As long as I can keep my flies, I'll be good to go, I think. I'm, I'm actually generating flies, which is good. I mean, keeping flies. Which is very good. It's a place you definitely want to be on the womb. I mean, when you can't make your own flies, which I can't. Well, besides Guppy's head. Become guppy so badly. The flies would be so real. Nice. Okay. Eh, sure, I'll play it once. Especially because it means damage. And damage is good. Sometimes. But with Samson, it's pretty much always good. Uh, let's see. Lock up? Sure. Bunches of 48 hour energies. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna pop one of these, load up on some flies, and then we'll go into that room. I'll save the other 48 hour energy for the boss. Let's do it. Wait, wasn't that a stone chest before? 
was, wasn't it? I could have sworn it was a stone chest. I won't worry about those pills for right now. I'm not gonna pop open that red one because it could be a teleportation chest. Now, honestly, I want to see if this pays out with a chest. Or two chests. And full health and false steel. So, I'll take it. Protects my chances of a deal with the devil, which is nice. Oh, come on, Loki, die. Not killing Loki quite fast enough. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Not doing a ton of damage, I'll tell you that much. But I mean, it's not bad. Just a little bit off in the damage department. Well, that's not exactly what I was looking for. What did I get out of that red chest? Oh, it must have been soul hearts. Okay. Can't even use them, unfortunately. Fish head. Uh, I mean, it's it's a good trinket, but I can't really use it. I can't justify using it. Paperclip is just too good. Like I said, I might get some golden chests on the dark room, and I would love to be able to open every single chest that comes my way. It's just fine with me. Oh, thank you, BBF. Lost all my flies, damn it. Okay. So yeah, see, uh, contract from below is not like Jera. Because Jera multiplies even the contents of the chest. But apparently contract from below does not. I thought it did, but I guess not. Jeez, that was close. That bullet was coming right for me. Hmm. It's worth it. Unfortunately, I can't get any Gubby items from golden chests anymore. Because I think you can only find Gubby's head in a golden chest. Look for my super secret room. Might be on this floor, but or that room, but I'm hoping not. I don't have a whole ton of bombs though, so hopefully I'll be able to find it pretty easily. I was really hoping it'd be right there. There it is. Yeah, sure. You know what? I got the money. Hoping for maybe a better card. There's a rune. What is that? Jira. That's exactly what I was talking about. Wheel of Fortune is okay. Oops. The world's pretty good too. Red patch. Matchstick. Devil. Oh, crystal ball. Sure. Do I want crystal ball instead of Guppy's head? Probably, actually. I'll take Jira. Actually, I want Guppy's head for right now, so I can do that Guppy's head fly action here. Because I might still become Guppy, so... Kind of okay with that. There. Now I'll go grab the crystal ball. Oops. It's a bit of a roundabout way of doing things, but hey, it works. And there's no, well, there's one red heart. But I think it's only half a heart. I was gonna go stab myself on the spikes again. But I really feel it's only half a heart. Yeah, it is only half a heart. Alright, let's go fight the boss. Daddy long legs. Shouldn't be too difficult. He's already pretty much dead from the flies. Whoa. He's tricky to hit though from the side. 
And apparently his feet have uh, contact damage. Interesting. Thought it was just damage when they come down on you, but apparently you can touch them and hurt yourself. Guppy! Not guppy, but I guess it works. I don't think you can get a deal with the devil on Shoal, though. So, oh, of course I'm going to take the pentagram. Certainly not taking that dumb razor blade, though. That is a terrible item. I don't think I'm going to backtrack all the way for the soul hearts. We're just going to head on down. Because, I mean, the crystal ball is probably going to pay out with a soul heart anyway. And I'm going to use that right here. Because, why not? <laughs> Just like that, see? So hard. And... Ooh. Secret room is close by. That was really bad damage. Thanks to Bob's brain, of course. Ooh, damage is looking pretty good, though. Nice. Look at all this loot. Alright, let's go ahead and bomb this. I'm interested in taking a peek in this room. Ah, golden chest, I gotta do it. Tammy's head! Interesting. The tears aren't so good. I want my crystal ball charge, though. I figured I'd use it for this room. It'd be neat if there's a Tammy transformation. I wonder if that's what'll be next. That'd be pretty cool. They had more Tammy items, and there was a Tammy transformation. And maybe it gave you, like, a Loki's Horn kind of ability. Where every now and then, uh, if your luck stat was high or whatnot, or even if your luck stat was low, every now and then you would get the Tammy's head burst from just your normal tears. That'd be pretty fantastic, I think. Ed, I think you should make it happen, man. Hell, maybe they are. I mean, they said there's going to be new transformations in Rebirth. Maybe Tammy transformation could happen. That'd be pretty cool, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's creep. Don't step on that. Good job, Bob Screen. Wait, does this peep, like, jump all the time? What an asshole. I think he does. I think it's this champion peep is like always a jumper, pretty much. Oh, thank god he's done. That was a bad room. Not so happy about that room. Let's go down here. Oop. That ah, could've been dangerous. Thank you, BBF. Oh, careful. Nope. Don't even want any little bit of that blood boy. There we go. Ah, is it worth it? It's probably worth it. Oh, could be worth it. Could be worth it. Oh, I was really hoping that was going to bomb that stone chest. Oh, fate. Interesting. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten fate. I'll use it again just for the soul heart. Because I figured it would probably give a soul heart. So it did. Ooh, the damage is out of control. Nice. Always remember those self sacrifice rooms. If you have flying, you can still take damage. So just be careful. If you don't want to take damage, make sure you dodge those spikes appropriately. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, the left hand. Interesting. You know what? I'm going to take it. I am going to take it, because the dreams of becoming Guppy are truly, truly there now. Because Guppy's tail plus the left hand is just basically your chances of Guppy are as perfect as they could possibly be. Oh, this is a hollow. I thought it was Larry Jr. Okay, not so bad. Don't want safety cap. There is... A blood bank. Very interesting. Probably won't be doing anything with it, though. Maybe playing a slot machine if they have one. Or, I mean, not a blood bank, an uh, arcade. That's what I meant. 
Flatworm's pretty good, but eh. I'm gonna stick with left hand. Let's take a peek inside the arcade. Uh, they do have a slot machine. Interesting. I was kind of hoping they would have a fortune telling machine. I don't have to worry about creep anymore. Please. Oh, that was not a soul heart. Uh, the tower. That's super useful. I really need soul hearts to protect my eternal heart. Um, I think I am going to go ahead and play this slot machine a little bit and see if maybe I can get a soul heart. Sometimes you can get it, not very often though. Won't be playing the blood bank, that's for sure. Damn it. Come on. Come on, I have better luck than that. I've even got a luck up. Look at that, I have three bars of luck. Come on. I'd actually be able to cap myself out on pretty flies here. Which could help versus the fallen. Or, you know, second version of Satan. Or second formation. Form, I mean, not formation. Come on. Actually, if I remember correctly, doesn't the blood bank not take your eternal iron? I don't know, let's find out. Okay, it does. But that's okay, now I can still play it. Uh, one more. Alright. Gives me a little bit more money. Now I'm not so worried about the soul heart, though. Oh, there's another play. Ah, it's just a half a heart. Hmm. You know what? I think I will blow him up. <laughs> nice. Decent amount of money. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Where's my super secret room going to be? It might be. Right about. No, actually, it can't be here. Hmm. Never mind. Maybe over here? Nope. Here. Nope. Alright, well that's pretty much all I wanted to try. It lives. Not for long. Truly not for long. Jeez. Oh my god, I can't believe the damage I'm doing. Holy crap. I was pretty sure I was going to have to dodge those brimstones, but I guess not. Down to shoal. that I had before. Come on, Guppy, Guppy! That's not Guppy. Yeah, game. I don't know if you noticed this, but that's not Guppy. Guppy, Guppy? Nope. All I want is Guppy. If you could just give me Guppy, all would be forgiven. Including... Oh, God. God, I hate this room. Oh, that wasn't too bad. 
Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Is this gonna be the first time I actually finish this room? Yeah. Not too bad. Wasn't very happy about the damage I took, but... It happens. Able... Oh wait, no, BBF did that, I think. Nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna line him up for BBF, there we go. Oh. Oh, guppy, 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 guppy! Guppy! Yay, my guppy dreams did become a guppy reality. I'm so happy. Ah, stay away! Oh, that was so good. Now I almost wish I could get the paper clip again. And drop left hand. Get my gold chest again, but that's, that's not gonna be happening. Two of hearts, probably not that mo not that important. I came in here on the odd chance that maybe there would be something useful in there, but I guess not. It's alright. Whoa, careful. Careful. What's this? A tower. Hmm. Not gonna really be needing that. Although, I can think of a good way to use this Two of Hearts card. Oh. Let's see if we can get this thing to pay out. Let me think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can play it until I get to about four. Maybe three. Yeah. Now pop two of hearts, and I'm almost back to full health. I remember we are Guppy now, so it's all good. Wow. The Guppy dreams became an over-reality. Four Guppy items, huh? Don't mind if I do. Well, that was supposed to get this one, too. There we go. Super stoked to be fighting Super Greed or Double Super Greed. Yeah, die, thank you. Now I'll probably drop left hand before the dark room because red chests don't give items in the dark room. Whereas if I just use Guppy's tail effect. I might get gold chest or iron chest and actually get some items. That'd be nice. Wow, the Fallen is just gonna eat crap here. Yep, there you go. Well, that was a good test about uh, as to how strong we're gonna be when we burst the Fallen on Satan. Nine lives? No, I don't need all five guppy items. Actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all five guppy items. Or is there six guppy items? Oh no, there's guppy's hairball as well. Which I of course don't need. I don't need any balls of steel either. Go ahead and use a bomb here. Sure. You want some keys, dude? I'll give you some keys. All right. I have the left hand. Never mind. All he's gonna pay out with his red chest. Nah, I don't need red chest anymore. Oh, careful. I'm not sure where they all are. Oh, never mind. Sure, I'll take Kane's eye. I don't need the left hand anymore. I already became Guppy. That's pretty much all you really need the left hand for. Unless you need soul hearts, but I don't really need those either. So, I'm kind of in a good position here liking it. And if I do get hit again, then I can use that Balls of Steel pill. Let's see if maybe... Ah, oh, yes. Red chest, and it's just a soul heart. Oh wait, I can actually use a soul heart. Ooh, I almost picked up nine lives there, that would have been 
very, very bad. Okay, let's fight Satan. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, look at that. Fallen's just gonna eat garbage. I eat your bullets, Satan. Wow, he just died. The flies are so strong. Um, no, I'm gonna keep up with Jira, I guess. And my hope is I'm gonna use Jira on a room with iron chests on this. That way I won't have to use keys. I'm not gonna use it now because... Oh my god, nine lives again. Man, it really wants me to take that nine lives. It's like, dude, I offered it to you twice. Yeah, I didn't take it because it's not very good. Uh, wow, my boss is so far away. But I might as well explore the whole thing. I'm certainly strong enough. Oh, that's what I was looking for right there. Double iron, quadruple iron chests. Let's see. Attack fly. Nice. Uh, Mr. Boom. Not nice. Boom bombs. And teleport. Wow, that's, that's a pretty bad haul. Gotta say. Not super excited about that. I was really hoping for some damage up. I mean, my damage is pretty good, it's just, oh, that's what I was looking for right there, all stats up, perfect. Samson Shames, haven't even had it before, so sure, I'll take it. Not gonna be taking nine lives, no matter how much it wants me to. Oh, come on, yeah, there we go. This flies wrecked, daddy long legs. Yeah, see, you get wrecked. Boom! Ah, come on, Guppy's tail. Give me some more iron chests. Super cool. I love the Guppy's tail synergy on the, the chest in the dark room. Even the dark room, you know? Because golden chests are guaranteed to pay out with an item, and so are iron chests. I'm not going to use the crystal ball because... Well, actually, I probably should. Yeah, because it could give a tarot card, or it could give a soul heart, which I don't need, but I could just leave it there. Wow, this is a good place to be when you can kill... Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, when you can kill Double Dark One without them even doing their bullshit brimstone. Sweet. I like it. Or, not Dark One, uh, Adversary. My bad. Oh, careful, careful. Damn it. Don't tell me the dark one is harder than the adversary, what the hell? It took no damage against double adversary and took... What, three hits against double dark one? That's bullcrap. No, can't use that. Oh, this is fine. No problem here. Triple Famine? Sure. All over that. Uh, careful. Careful. Damn it. I really wanted to get rid of the little ones before I spawned more little ones. Damn it. You bastard. Just had to sneak that last hit in there, didn't you? Oh god. The spiders! Jesus. I hate fighting Teratoma on the dark room. There's just no way to make it so he doesn't spawn spiders. Okay, some keys, not bad. Not like I need them, especially with golden keys, but whatever. Nice. Uh, Gish and Bump Friend. You okay? Sure. What do we got here? High Priestess. It's a good card. Probably use it against the lamb. 
Unless I can find something better. Empress would be better. Or Devil? Anything that lasts the whole fight and is a steroid would be great. Mr. Mega, sure. I kind of wish if you used the crystal ball multiple times on the level, it would find you the super secret room. Uh, forget me now. Interesting. Telepathy for dummies. Probably not going to take it. Bob's Curse. You know what? Forget me now is very interesting. I think I will do it. I could fight another dark room, and I really think I've got the damage to do it. Come on. Wow. That was lucky. Well, maybe not so lucky. I could, technically, get many more items. Uh, Holy Mantle's so good. This, this could possibly be the most OP run I've ever had. Ever. It's hard to believe, but it has the possibility. Thank you, bum friend. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the Forget Me Now. Might make it a little bit longer, but you know what? Let's do it. Unfortunately, it means I can't take my crystal ball with me, but whatever. Let's do it and see what we get. Another dark room. Oh, was that Curse of the Blind? Is that what that said? Better not be Curse of the Blind. Yeah, full health is interesting. Oh god. Hey, it gave me some flies. Nice. Uh, what was this again? High Priestess. Yeah. Full health is probably going to be a little more useful. 48 hour energy would be good if I had something. Ooh, tears up is so good. I didn't even know that was in the rotation. That's happiness. The more tears we can shoot, the more flies we generate. Not a big fan of not knowing my map. I'll tell you that straight up. What was this again? 40 hour energy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna roll with the full health for right now. Just in case things get a little out of hand. Kinda like that. But that was just Holy Mantle. Not too bad, not too bad. Now if I could just get the wafer, this would be supremely overpowered. Oh, come on, Guppy's tail. Where are my chests at? Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. There we go. That one should be dead, yep. There we go. Tears still aren't super good. We're getting there, though. He was just about to do his brimstone, I think. Golden keys again, which, again, is not necessary. Actually, that's kind of nice, though. Because I don't have paperclip anymore, so... If I get some golden chests, I can definitely open them, at least. Okay. Blackheart? I'll take it. Oh, good god. Oh my Jesus, this is, this is a nightmare of a room. Even with being as overpowered as I am, jeez. I do not like that many bonies. Oh god. Oh jeez. You guys are kind of a nightmare too because you'd like to pop up right in front of my goddamn face. And that is not good for my health when I have Bob's brain. Okay, so I'm going to kill Gluttony last, if at all possible. Careful. Good. Perfect. Damn. I was hoping for an HP up. Wow, this is not a very good dark room at all. It hasn't dropped a single chest item. Or er, item chest, I mean. Uh, maybe... Maybe it's still- ooh, there we go. Yeah, it is Curse of the Blind. Ugh. My reflection. Yuck. Loki's Horn. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh god, that was terrible. But with, uh, Holy Mantle, that makes Bob's Drain even better. Oh my god, I hope I don't get something bad. Sissy Longlegs and Ankh. 
Okay. I don't think I'll be dying, but all right. I still haven't gotten any active items for that 48-hour energy pill. Oh, careful. Okay. Wow. Did you see how fast that Loki's horn shot fired? My god, that was insane. It bursted out like a cannon. Oh, careful. Careful. There we go. I don't like my reflection so much. Good stuff. Come on, Aquarius is good. Lazarus's rags is again, I'm not gonna be dying. I just don't see myself dying. I don't think it's possible. Even on the lamb. I mean, he's tough, but he, he's gonna get crapped on by the flies big time. Look at this. The hunt couldn't even touch me. Common cold? Good. Little Steven. Acceptable. Not like super good. Not gonna win the run, but you know what? It's acceptable. That is crap. Holy Mantle already dropped. That's probably uh, Mr. Mega. Which is weird. I already got Mr. Mega. Fire Mind. Nice. And Mongo Baby. Interesting. So does that mean Mongo Baby is going to shoot... Little Steven's tears, I think? Or... Oh no, he is! He is randomly... Or he's cycling through the baby's tears. Because he's shooting Little Steven's tears and um, Little Gish's tears. Which is pretty fantastic, actually. Now that I think about it, oh my god, this is amazing! Look at the death and destruction! Rained all over the battlefield. So good. Yeah, that forget me now is starting to look like it was a really good choice. Alright. My boss has gotta be around here somewhere. Oh wait, no, I think I already found him. Just haven't been there yet. Damn. Ah, I was really hoping for some more items. Um Yeah, let's just head to the boss, because I don't really know where a super secret room would be. Do I want High Priestess or do I want full health? I really do want full health. I mean, I guess I could search for one. Maybe over here? I got 34 bombs, I might as well. 34 poison bombs, I might add. Nope, wasn't there. And that would have been the easiest place to find it, too. It could be here, but it would be on one of these weird, on these long walls here. I just, I don't know where to put the bomb. Here? I have no idea. Whatever, let's just go fight the lamb. And that will mean that Samson's note is fully done. As well. Nice. So good. I think Holy Mantle just popped, but that's okay. Oh no, there it popped. And it took no damage. Fantastic. Let's just take the full help, just for shiggles. Fantastic. All right. So we've got Isaac done, Maggie done, Kane done, and now Samson done too. You know what? Let's do it. Let's get Azazel out of the way because I hate Azazel and I don't want to play as Azazel. Seed is HKJF M2EM. Let's do it. <laughs> Kamikaze. Not a good start. Hmm. 
Coins are interesting, though. Oops. Oh. Wait, will this work? Oh, it does work. Interesting. I don't know if it's entirely worth it. But it does indeed work. Tinted rock. Is it worth it? Try. Well, it only does half heart damage. I thought it did full heart damage. Half heart's not too bad, I guess. Larry Jr. is probably one of the easiest bosses to fight with this Hazel. Yeah, if you can actually hit him. God damn it, I hate this Hazel. Okay, let's go down. Open to pick up some HP. Got these paw, interesting. Not that I can see it being completely useful right now, but maybe in the future. Oh, you son of a bitch. God dang it. And this is why I fucking hate Azazel. He has to get way too close to enemies. Speed and range up is kind of okay, because... Azazel's speed is absolute garbage. I can see the difference in the range. Not much, but it's a little. It's appreciated. Honestly, I think Pageant Boy should, um, this should bring up some stats too, it really should. Interesting. Another Tinted Rock. Ooh, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's go ahead and go to the shop real quick. Ooh, look, it's Blue Candle. Oh, you know what? I can't not buy Blue Candle, right? I think it's just like red candle, except for it does something a little different, I think. Not even sure what it does. Let's find out. It'll definitely be my first time having it, because I just unlocked it not too long ago. Oh, that's it. Okay. I'm liking the soul hearts though, that's pretty good. Alright, well let's see what Blue Candle does. Okay. It seems like it's just like Red Candle. Well, maybe it's a faster charge time? 
Oh, you can't even hit the little baby. I did not know you could not hit the little baby of Blighted Oval. Wow. It's like maybe it does better damage? Maybe it doesn't stick around as long? I don't know. Find out. Can't do it. I would, because I like Rotten Baby, but I can't do it. I don't have the HP. Let's go down. So Blue Candle's pretty good. Um, it's got some decent range to it, too. I'm liking it. Take a look in here. Uh, probably not gonna do it. A little bit dangerous. Sure. That was not worth it. The tier stat is still really bad. Nice. God, stop giving me red hearts. I can't use them, game. Sure, I'll take counterfeit penny. Why not? More money? Sure. My donation machine hasn't given up yet. Oh, son of a bitch. not going to be opening that since I don't have the paper clip. <laughs> oh shit. Oh that was lucky. Blue candle saves the day. Nice. I was hoping that would find out. Well, now I will be opening it. No doubt about it. Infestation is not very good, but I'm gonna take some damage with Azazel anyway, so I'm kind of okay with it, I guess. That was a stupid golden chest. Now, do I really need to be that greedy and try and take Red Candle? I don't think so. And that was the end of the donations. Damn it. Why couldn't it have just given up a little bit earlier? Then I wouldn't have had to do that one thing, and I could have got a bomb. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. Speed up. That was not what I needed. I can see forever. That's not super useful either. 48 hour energy. Not necessary. Not necessary on an item that charges itself. <laughs> Even in non-hostile rooms, it charges itself. Beat up. Let's see. I could take one more. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That feels speedy enough, I believe. Okay. Should be good now, I think. Yeah. I'm still making pretty good time. Not super good time, but pretty good. Oh wow, that does a lot of damage. Holy crap. Range up, sure. I'll definitely take it. Well yeah, blue candle's pretty amazing. I like it so far. Especially because his tier stat is so freaking low. I don't think he can put these out, can it? Wait, maybe it can. Nope. At least I don't believe so. It makes sound though, like it can, but I don't think it can. And I don't think Hagalaz can destroy those, although technically I've never really tried. Maybe it is possible.
I think that, honestly, Azazel should get more range with his range upgrades. His range upgrades don't seem to help too significantly. He should really get some more range. Does that a forget me now? Maybe. It would give me an extra item. I might very well need. I don't know though. That was terrible. Oh, careful. Crap. Ha! Book of Shadows. Um, I like it, but honestly, I like Blue Candle better. Blue Candle's just too good. All right, now where's my boss room? All I gotta do is find my boss room. Then I'll roll that forget me now and get an extra item and an extra boss item. Why I want to find the boss room. There it is. Oh, you son of a bitch. Why did I have flies? Wow, I have no idea why I had flies. An eternal heart. Hmm. Would that work? I do not know. Hmm. Shouldn't be too difficult. As a Zazel, because Larry Jr. is kind of trapped in there. I don't think he'll ever come out. Oh, I could be wrong. No, I think he's trapped. Oh, he's not trapped. Fuck. That's bullshit, and that's the reason I hate Azazel. He's a piece of garbage. Let's try this one again. AZQP7GBP. Is the seed for this run. That was looking really good, but honestly, the problem was with Azazel, if you don't get HP, you're pretty much fucked. Pretty much. Like almost 100% guaranteed to be fucked. Because you're gonna lose the Black Hearts, because he's such a garbage character. He's so freaking slow. I mean, it's nice that he can fly and all, I agree. Cancer could be super useful on him, because now my tears should charge a lot faster. Which is much better. Yeah, this is much better. Yeah, if you can get tears up on Azazel, he's an okay character then. Oh, I need speed. Honestly, I think they nerfed his speed, too. Because this is not what his speed looks like in the Northern Lion videos that I'm watching. His speed looks really nice. Ares. Well, at least it gives speed, I think. I do believe it does. Didn't get any bombs, so I'm not going to be getting that Tented Rock. That's pretty sad, but... Hey, it happens. Oh, that was close. God damn it, fucking gurglings. Gurglings are one of the worst bosses to fight as Azazel. Because you have to get right up to them and you're guaranteed to have them dash right in your face. But it's alright, maybe we can still get some HP somewhere. Well, there was that Roid Rage again, I think it was. The green one, I think it's Roid Rage. That could be interesting. Those guys almost always pay out with HP. If I could just get some money...
I don't even think this works. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that doesn't work with Azazel in at all whatsoever. It doesn't. Good. Too bad it doesn't let you pick your characters for the challenges. I'd pick Azazel for the Waka Waka. Because magnetic tears don't work for him. Or maybe it does? I don't know, those like uh, those guys kind of look like they were getting sucked into my little mini brimstone, but I don't know. That was decent. Not gonna worry about the poops. Because I'm gonna try and get boss rush done as Azazel. Boss rush and dark room is what he needs. I'm gonna look around because he needs all the help he can get. Careful. I could probably start doing contact damage because my speed is kinda high now. Uh yeah, sure, I'll play I'll play this guy. He might pay out in six cents, maybe. Sometimes they do. Maybe not. Yep, there we go, HP up. That's exactly what I wanted. Like I said, if you can get some HP on Azazel, he is pretty viable then. Not like incredibly viable, but he's pretty good then. That was not too bad. You can just kind of hide over the poops because they'll block the bullets for you. More HP up, nice. I'm not going to take the Eternal Heart yet. Uh, missing page 2 is not very good, so I'm not going to take it. I'm going to keep my HP, say no thank you sir, and have a good day. Let's move on. Ooh, an item room right off the bat. Scapular? Don't mind the fat bill. Take a peek in here. Maybe. That's not too bad. I'll just full card out. Don't really feel like fighting it because it'll take too long. I am trying to do a boss rush here, so. Gotta keep track of time. Make sure that time is not getting too crazy. Cancer should really help if I can get some more tears up, too. It's not helping so much now because my tears stat isn't so good anyway. I think it only doubles your current tier stat and double zero, which is pretty much what Azazel starts out with, is still zero. Alright. Okay, not too bad. Boss should be right around here. Damage is off the charts. Oh, you stupid bitch. Again, showing why I hate Azazel. Because he has to get way too close. It's just so hard to dodge the shots. I don't see why anybody loves Azazel. Uh, maybe he used to be good and nobody's just played him recently. They don't realize that he's just absolute ass now. Alright, so I feel speedy enough that I think we can fully explore the levels and do just fine for still getting boss rush. This will probably be my boss rush with Azazel and Darkroom kill, too, hopefully. Because honestly, this is working out pretty well. I mean, three... Oh, god damn it. Three red hearts as Azazel is a pretty good place to be. Oh my god, stop taking damage. The husk is usually such an easy fight. But with Azazel, not so much. Holy mantle? Oh my god, this almost assures that this is going to be my... 
boss rush slash dark room kill. I'm way ahead of the clock. It says basically I'm just supposed to be starting the last floor that I was just on. Alright. So that pretty much guarantees deals with the devil. Having, uh... Nice. More HP, I'll take it. Having a uh, holy mantle. Okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh god. Freaking blind ones. That's okay. I was able to get over here and just kill them pretty easily. Not too much of a problem. More blind ones, really. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, I popped Holy Mantle, but who cares? It worked. Chubs. I thought there was the ones that were just like gluttony. Uh, probably not gonna be going to the shop right now. Mantle with those easel is so good. Oh, Mom's Pearl. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, do I want it or do I want cancer? It's tough to say. Honestly, I don't think cancer is going to do any good for me unless I can get some tears up. I guess it just depends upon what's in this item room or if I do get some tears up on this floor somewhere. Bastards. X-ray vision. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Liking it, but I don't know if I'm gonna play it. Probably won't, because I really don't have the time. So let's just check out this. Is our shop good? Um, sure, I'll take the pills. Bad gas is not truly amazing. I do have another battery up here. I'm not gonna worry about the arcade. I don't really have the time to min-max the arcade right now. Paralysis, wow. I'll just take that now so I don't accidentally pop it in the battle. That was pretty good. Why is he so slow? Oh, I think it's because he's supposed to move on a diagonal and he's stuck on the top of the room. Sucks to be you, buddy. Let's go down. Yeah, see, now it's saying we're basically supposed to be done with floor three, or just at the very end of floor three. Nice. I'm liking this. Probably not gonna open that. It's tempting, but probably not going to open it. Oh god. I hate masks of infamy. There we go. Cursed room. I will open it in just a second. It's gonna take a little while though, because I want Holy Mantle to be able to go in that curse room for absolute free? God dang it. You sons of bitches, you ate up all my black hearts. How dare you. Free? Oh, there they are. Nice. Free to get out. Nice. Very nice position to be in. Holy Mantle is so good for the cursed rooms. Oh god. I don't know if there's a better item for the Cursed Rooms than her Holy Mantle. I might do the Forget Me Now, maybe. I probably actually will. But I want my item room first. 
my item and my boss. So let's go fight the boss first. I'm gonna be fighting bloat. Ugh, I hate bloat. No, not liking this. Not liking this at all. He can probably still do his bloody brimstone thing. I'm sure. Would you please stop being near the top of the screen, you bastard? Thank you. Oh my god, just freaking die. Why do you have to summon these little chubs? I'm such a jackass. And now he's back towards the top of the screen again. Great. That's alright. At least we beat him and got to deal with the devil. Nice. Two new pills. Not good pills. It's alright. Pact is wonderful. I'll take that. Now I just have to find... It's the forget-me-now again. Like I said, I might do it. I'm just looking for my item room first. I'm way ahead of the time limit, so... I could afford to do this level again. Black heart, nice. Where's my damn item room? It's the shop, which is not gonna be all that useful. Oop, careful. Maybe it's up here. Nope. This was just a dead end. Okay. Bella pills. Okay. Not exactly what I wanted. I'm trying to find my item room quickly. That was a bad damage, but it was just holy mantle, so that's okay. Son of a bitch. See, they shouldn't be able to jump this much, this many times in a row. I call bullshit on that. Yeah, I didn't really want to be fighting pride. Chariot is not too bad. That was close. And Ouija board. Uh, I don't think I even needed that. Pretty sure this could fire through rocks anyway. Ugh, puberty. Okay, let's go take that forget me now now. Don't care, holy mantle. See, now we're basically on par with the time. But we'll be way ahead of the curve because we'll have more items and more boss items. Maybe even another deal with the devil item. Who knows? Probably not, but maybe. We got plenty of keys. I would play that key beggar, but I really gotta stay ahead of the time. Ooh, careful. Give you a couple keys, dude. There we go. Sorry, but you're gonna have to die too. Wow, lots of bombs, thanks. There's a ridiculous amount of bombs. Whoops, let's go this way. No. Okay. Not too bad. I like in this room. Spiders are like Azazel's worst enemy. Oh, okay. Let's go this way. Oh, I'm liking it. Found my item room. 
This is why I say take the forget me now anytime that you can, really. I mean, it disappears after use anyway. Might as well take it. It's a free item and a free boss uh, item. So you start way ahead of the curve of most Isaac players. So yeah, the forget me now is a pretty good item. Did I not kill everything? Oh, there you go. There we go. Grab that key. <laughs> yeah, SMB super fan. Heck yeah, I'll take that. Making me wish I had taken cancer instead of mom's curl, though. Because my tears would be charging so fast. But I mean, I guess it's not bad. There we go. Paralysis, not so good. Telepills, puberty, telepills, and tears down. Wow, that's terrible. All right, let's just go on. The adversary, not exactly who I wanted to fight as a Zazel, that's for sure. Because with the Zay or with the adversary, you want to be moving fast so you don't get caught in his bullshit brimstone, which I did. But thanks to Holy Mantle, I take no damage. Yeah, he's dead. More HP. Sure, I'll take it. Let's go. Might have missed some secret rooms there, but hey. I want to stay ahead of the timer. And we are quite ahead of the timer. Okay. Mom's Pearl definitely coming in handy there, showing its usefulness. Damn it. That's the first time I've taken damage in a while. Thanks to Holy Mantle. 48 hour energy, not super useful at all. Nice to know I have it, but not incredibly useful. The Blood Bank is interesting and tempting. Might play around with it a little. But really, I just want my item room, and I want to get to mom. I don't want any chance of this being a failure. Oh, crap. Careful. There we go. Alright, looking good. Ooh, careful. There we go. Take that bomb. Where's my item room? I mean, because I use the forget me now, does that mean I don't get an item room on this floor? Or I don't know how it works. Oh my god, I really want to play the blood bank, but I don't know if I've got the time. I mean, this is just such a good floor to play the blood bank on with with all those red hearts. It seems like such a waste. Now well, let's see. Looking for my item room real quick. You know what? I'll go ahead and play it for a bit. Let's play it with the chariot first. That is not what I'm... But actually, I guess this kind of works. Because I can go around and play this. Okay. Good. Not gonna worry about the hands right now. I'm just worried about the turrets. There we go. All right, good to go. Item room's got to be over here, right? I don't think forget me now. Yeah, it doesn't nullify your item room. Okay, good. That would suck if it did. If it was like, hey, you got two items, you don't get this item. Oh, the relic is so good. Although, technically, I don't even really think I need it. Let's, let's not take a look in the shop. I don't have the time. Let's go. Shouldn't be too difficult of a mom fight, but... I don't have a ton of time, so let's just get it done. Ah, this should be... Pretty super easy, I'd say. Not happy that 
holy mantle already popped. Yeah, this should be pretty easy. Why should it actually pop out? Come on. There we go. Come on, just die, dude. Dark room? And let's go. Alright, so I could take Mom's Contact, or I could take Magic Mushroom. Ah, uh, it's, it's it's a tough choice because Mom's Contact is so good, but so is Magic Mushroom. Man. You know, I'm gonna take Mom's Contact because honestly, I think it's gonna do really well. It's gonna work really well with Azazel because it can just freeze things in place and keep doing damage to them because of the fact that he has to be so close. See? It just seems like freezing them in place to get extra damage is a better idea. Gotta get Carrion Queen dead. I don't even care if I take so much damage. There we go, see? It's already working out pretty well. Gotta be careful, though. Still conceivable to lose this. Just be careful. Don't get cocky. This is Isaac we're talking about here. Okay. I'm hearing something. Oh, it's the husk. Or no, uh, Duke of Flies. Sorry. Oh, that was bad. I'm gonna try and get Blast Assist first. Come on, Blast Assist over here. There we go, buddy. I'm still not doing quite a ton of damage, but I think this was a good choice. I honestly do feel like it was a better choice than Magic Mushroom. I mean, I could have probably rolled either way, but I, I just think this is better. Because, I mean, if you've got to get in enemies' faces, it seems like it would be a good idea to be able to slow them down so that you can get more damage on them. Or not to slow them down, but just outright freeze them. Yeah, that, that worked out pretty well. Still taking a lot more damage than I want to. That's okay. Remember, I got the relic. Oh, didn't see that you weren't dead, buddy. It's not good. Gonna start taking red heart damage here soon. Not very good at all. Oh, this is great. Oh my god, did you see that? It was so good. Okay, come on. Just be very careful. Is that all of Fistula? I do believe so. I think all that's left is this Larry Jr. wherever he went. There he is. Hey, buddy. I'm sorry, did I freeze you and then blow your head off? That's awful rude of me, it seems like. Oh, that's fine, Monstro. You ain't gonna hit me. Your blood bullets are gonna be blocked by the stones. Oh, shoot. Got a little too close there. Getting a little cocky. Gotta say. Gotta dial that down a little. There's plenty of red hearts, so that's good at least. Oh, damn it. I gotta remember that when they're frozen, just remember, you can take advantage of it, just don't take advantage of it forever, because they're not frozen for a very long time. Gertie's dead. Okay. <laughs> Oh no! Gish, why'd you have to do that? That was my safety. That was my safety place, you bastard. You son of a bitch. Oh, crap. Crap. 